I feel like I already risked it and I don't have the biscuit. You know what I'm saying? So basically shaving your legs with the bar or entering the big leaks now, boys. Thank you guys, I feel uncomfy. And I'm trying to like basically sweep the floor. Oh. Give me 12. Like there's nothing down there saving me. Well, 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 welcome back to another video. We are back in Utah reporting live. I went home to visit upstate New York, which is where I'm from for the past like week or so. And it was super beautiful, super refreshing. It was really, I never realized how much I miss home till I actually go back there. But anyways, I'm feeling fun and fresh. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Bluebird sky, I guess not bluebird, but blue skies today. Gorgeous, went for a walk earlier, was super juiced up, couldn't get enough. Such a nice, beautiful day. And now we're going to go hit legs. I figured for this video, we could do a very in-depth gym vlog with you guys because I feel like I haven't given you a very in-depth just workout video. So I'm really gonna go in-depth. How many times am I gonna say in-depth? This is gonna be a very thorough workout. I'm gonna give you very thorough workout tips. I'm gonna explain to you guys how I'm doing every single exercise. And we're basically just gonna have a little gym ses sesh together. As always, the workout will be written out down below in the description box and i hope you guys enjoy the workout the workout <laughs> except i will say of course that wasn't the last of what i have to say few girl things i am on my cycle i'm really just free bond i'm on my cycle and you know when you're on your cycle like if you want to play it safe you wear like a darker color just in case on the bottom i'm fearless today apparently because i'm wearing like light pink baby pink shorts with no underwear or anything like there's nothing down there saving me so i'm just trusting the uni today i am on day like either three or four i'm not sure so i should be fine but still i'm just kind of like i was driving the whole way here with like my legs together if you know you know because it just was a little bit like i'm kind of a little nervy also there's someone here that goes to this gym that drives a bentley bentega and if you don't know that's my updated dream dream car for when i'm like 50 60 bentley bentega i'm an suv person it's beautiful I'm also really hoping I actually have my headphones because I don't know if they're in here, so. Oh, I do, JK. Choose your fighter. No, no, this kind of matches my vibe today. Even though it's broken, you're trying to sabotage me? I can't tell if I'm causing an issue or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, we're having a brief um, intermission before the workout. Apparently, um, Letty and I are trying to revive our racquetball obsession. <laughs> and I don't know the last time we played, but we're about to do a dual match. Let's do like best two out of three or something. Because I don't really have a. What do we play till 11 again? Yeah. Shake the dust off, you know what I'm So I already did my normal little dynamic stretch, my dynamic warm-up. Nothing has really changed for it yet, so I didn't want to show it again. If you're curious, literally any of my week of workouts will show you what I do in depth. But so we're going to start off with some hip thrusts because I haven't done them heavy in a little bit. So I'm starting off with some warm-up sets. Of course, anytime you're doing your heavy initial compound movements for like the first two exercises that I'm doing within a workout, I always do a warm-up set beforehand where it essentially just means I'm doing sets with lower weight of 
the actual exercise I'm going to be doing for my working sets to follow. So this is just to get the muscle activated, get some blood flow and get the range of motion down and also kind of just to get a feel for where your strength is at for the day. So here I think I'm just going to do like six-ish reps here just to get the form down. Eight. Okay, I guess we're doing eight. I also want to go over form before I get into the heat of my sets and I'm out of breath and like wheezing trying to explain it to you guys. So pretty much I personally like to use a decline bench just because I... <laughs> Um, just because I find it easier, it's just like a better bench height for me, especially when I lock out at the top. And then for foot placement, I like to put my feet kind of where the crease of my knee would be when my feet are out straight, so then I bring my heel in there. This way, all you have to do is literally just press up, your back is already on the bench, and the bench is able just to kind of support your already natural position. It helps so much with feeling like you're gonna fall off the bench, like that does not happen with a decline bench. So then from here, all you wanna do is basically just press up through your heels, and now we're in our tabletop position. So the whole time you wanna be driving up through your heels your feet should be nice and light at the top of the movement this is how you can tell if you have proper foot placement you want there to be a 90 degree angle within your knee your shins are nice and vertical and your knee is stacked over your ankle and you basically just want to be driving your hips up as high as you can to the sky to be in a tabletop position this is the hardest part of the movement so you really don't want to skimp out on that lockout you also want to keep your core nice and tight and like i said keep that chin tucked to your chest All right, now I'm adding on another plate and I'm gonna do another warm up set again as I'm just climbing up to my top set because I'm planning on doing decently heavy weight here today. I don't know if I'm gonna like max out, but I think I am gonna try to get three plates. Bringing my barbell pad, putting it on the barbell, and then I'm basically putting this bar so it's directly in the center of my hips. This is so important so that you're actually nice and level when you come up in the movement. So you really wanna make sure that middle like checkered spot is right in the middle of your lap. Scrunch my feet up get nice and tall and then I'm going to press up through my heel. Another important thing is where you're placing the bar. So right now the bar isn't just like dead weight on my hip bones. It's kind of in between my hip bone and my pubic bone, if you will. So it's like kind of on a soft spot and I'm actively pushing the bar away so it stays in that position throughout the whole movement. And that's really going to help with any pain from the barbell. Okay, now we're ready to get into our working sets. We're entering the big leaks now, boys. Three plates. Ugh. I think we're gonna try to go for sets of, I don't know, I really have to see how this feels. I wanna aim for like sets of eight to 10. This could feel super heavy or this could fly. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay. I can do it. Okay, not bad. Okay, that wasn't bad actually. I felt like my feet were like a little bit too far in and I also totally forgot to put a weight behind the bench to help me from sliding back. If you find yourself that you feel like you're always pushing the bench back, one, look at your form and how you're doing it, but two, you can place the bench up against a wall or put like a barbell, dumbbell I mean, or a plate on the back of it to help to weight it down. But the biggest thing is you don't wanna be pushing backwards when you're trying to lift your hips up. You're trying to scoop up vert vertically. So if you're really struggling with pushing the bench back, that means that your range of motion isn't correct you're pushing too far away from you your feet away from you you want to keep them under you and just basically scoop your hips up towards the sky all right set two that first one actually felt really good 10 reps definitely felt doable you got it six nine last one That genuinely feels way better than I thought it was gonna feel. I feel like I could honestly get 12. Other huge thing that helps is to really hold that lockout at the top, especially on my last rep of each set. I really try to hold for at least three seconds. I have a problem. Mm. I'm on my period and wore light colored bottoms, which I knew would be risky. And I had a little accident. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just not gonna do things that I'm bending over. It's like really just a little. Set numero tres. Seven. 
Wow. Also, I find when I go really heavy, it feels way more comfortable for me to have a slightly wider foot placement, so it's like kind of just patch holder width apart. Last set. I think I'm gonna try to get 12 reps on this last set. Okay. Eight. Oh man. Three more. I don't even know what I'm on. I think I have two more. <laughs> oh, that's all I got. Oh, wow. There's not another rep left in the tank. Barely got lockout. Now the worst part, putting it all away. Okay, this has turned into a shy girl workout. Overheard what I was saying to my boyfriend. We had a little bit of a uh, spill, which I was what I was nervous about. So this is turning into a shy girl workout. Really, I'm going to go into a preloaded barbell RDL back against the wall, if you know what I'm saying. I wish I had a shirt or a sweatshirt. So I'm gonna tie around my waist. I don't know if not, this is really a rookie mistake, but this is really a risk that I take often. I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I've never really had to pay for it. And I'm guessing pay for it today. It's very subtle, but I still just don't wanna be like bending over in front of everyone. The show must go on, like I said. So when it comes to a stiff leg deadlift, my feet are about shoulder width apart. And then you want to initiate the movement by drawing your hips backwards. I kind of want you guys to picture, like if you have a really large resistance band around your waist, I want you to picture someone pulling that resistance band back, which is causing you to break at the hips. But as you can tell, everything else within me is still like stiff like a board. So just because I'm doing that doesn't mean I'm curving or arching my back. I'm pretending like there's a board strapped to my back. My spine is nice and long and neutral. And I'm basically just folding over as an inevitable result of my hips getting pushed back towards the back wall. With that, I'm keeping a slight bend in my leg to protect my knee. The more knee bend I have, the more stretch is gonna be in the glute. So therefore it's gonna be more glute bias. I kind of tend to just do whatever feels good in the moment. Sometimes I'll have more knee bend, sometimes I'll have less. And then of course you always wanna be driving up through your heels as always. And you wanna pretend like you're basically shaving your legs with the bar or like painting your legs with the bar. You wanna keep it really nice and tight along your legs. That's gonna really help to mitigate any lower back pain that you might be experiencing. And you also wanna keep your core really nice and tight. Roll those shoulder blades back and down away from our ears and keep that barbell super nice and close. And you want to push your hips back to as far as your mobility allows. Six. Eight, ten. Twelve. Oh, I feel like winded today. Yo. How are you doing? <laughs> Have a good workout. Eleven. One more. Two. Man, sometimes when I'm feeling crazy and I want to add just a little bit more difficulty, I'll add some pulses at the bottom of my last few reps, especially with an RDL and freaking hits. Three. Seven. Ten. Yep. Eleven. We got it. Oh man. One more. For this last set, I think I'm gonna try to do a little more hamstring focus and keep my legs a little bit straighter. So I'm gonna focus on driving my hips further back and keeping my legs a bit straighter. Oh yeah, to get a bigger stretch in my hammies. Oh man. Let's give three pulses. Here we go. Three. That was good. I was really feeling that in my hammies. It's crazy just how the smallest tweak makes such a big difference in your sets. The real uh, bear at hand is I really don't want to have to go get a dumbbell all the way over there and wheel it all the way over here. Hmm. 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 I wonder if you can... All right, so we are in fact not doing a dumbbell sumo squat. <laughs> you guys, I feel uncomfy and I really just wasn't about to 
I just wasn't about to do that in the middle of the dumbbell rack, you know, like right in front of all the weights with everybody and like be risking it for the biscuit, you know what I mean? I feel like I already risked it and I don't have the biscuit, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I think I'm just gonna finish off with some more isolation moves. I think we're gonna do leg extension, leg curl, and then the seated abduction and just call it good, you know what I mean? We don't need to get fancy every workout. This one's a little bit different and that's why I love it because it's single leg. I also love to include unilateral movements when I can. And so this is gonna count for this workout. Ooh. You know when your leg, your like skin kind of sticks to the leather and it's like, ow. Why does this feel so odd? Okay, I think we're gonna do fitty. Fitty on each side. Eleven. You really wanna try to lock out as much as you can at the top. Cause that right there is the hardest part of the movement. Eleven. Uh, I like love the burn of a leg extension like I love the quad burn But it also grosses me out for some reason because I swear I can like feel all of my tendons and muscle I don't even know it just feels weird at the same time. Oh my gosh Oh, I know what song I forgot about sometimes. I'm like I can't believe these were even a thing WAP by Cardi B Oh my gosh, I forgot this song existed This is foul <laughs> 11 I still feel like I could go heavier though. Seven, ten, okay, we're gonna go up five more pounds and then try to go down for 10 reps. All right, last set. I got four. Oh. Oh, my. Ten. Oh, two more. I love when I'm just a good YouTuber and I brought a backup battery. My camera's about to die and luckily I brought an extra battery. So we're chilling, we're maxing, relaxing. Next we're gonna do some hamstring work, but what we're not gonna do right now is the lying hamstring curl. We're gonna do the seated for obvious reasons. I love how real this vlog has turned out to be. Three, four, eight, ten. Give me 12. Oh man. Dang. Let me share with you guys a little natural progression for me, my workouts. Usually I'll kind of start off with some hype stuff. Then I get into kind of some like angry hype up like Lincoln Park, three days grace type vibe if I'm like doing heavy hip thrust. Then I'll kind of keep going on that wave. Then maybe I'll get into some kind of some more party upbeat still gonna be in the zone but then by the end of the workout like right now it gets emo like right now i'm on mockingbird by eminem this where i'm zoning in i'm reflecting on everything up to this point dramatic for no reason you know what i mean that's my natural that's my character arc my gym character arc <laughs> Done with that. We're gonna do a drop set because I love doing a drop set on these. I feel like that's when I really get the most out of it and I'm feeling like, wow, this really did something. So I'm gonna start at like 230, maybe 250, and I'm essentially gonna do like 12 ish reps. I'm gonna decrease the weight by like 20 pounds or basically go up two clicks, do 12 reps go down two clicks and then I'll probably do that for five increments but I think I'm just gonna do 12 steady and then on my last working set I'm gonna do 15 For this, I like to keep my feet on the very edge of the foot pad so that really only my heels are on it and they're on the very outermost portion of the foot pad. I like to lean away from the back of the seat and I'm basically trying to squeeze right here. This is where you should be feeling it. So I like to put my hands here and I'm trying to like basically sweep the floor or like drive my heels away. Like I'm trying to spread peanut butter with my heels. You wanna kind of have it be in like a half moon range of motion. <sighs> All right, last one, I'm at 130. And we're gonna do 15 reps here. Two, three, three, two, one, hold it. Oh, oh. that was nice. All right, I feel like Whitney Simmons. The good news, one set down. 
Bad news, we got two more. <laughs> that was good, but it didn't like rack me, rack me, so I definitely have two more in me. JK, I only did that for four sets of weights, not five. I did 250, 210, 170, and then 130. Oh wow, this feels way harder. I also like to keep a little like tuck in my pelvis if I feel myself not feeling it too much in my glutes. Instead of doing this, I'll kind of tuck. 10, 11, 12. This is really good in me. Let's do 15. We got it. Five. One. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that set was so much harder. Oh my gosh, that was so hard. Last set, we're leaving it all out on the table. Right here. Oh my goodness, that just felt like, literally that just felt like I was trying to move a truck. Okay. Oh. Last one. I feel insane now for having us do this three times. Last one. Three, two. Oh. Toasted, roasted and toasted. Wow. Listen, you win some, you lose some. Sometimes you risk it, you get the biscuit. Sometimes you risk it and you get a freaking casket. That was so morbid. No, but for real dogs, today just wasn't the day. You know what I'm saying? I will say the workout could have been worse. Like I still feel like we held in there. We, you know, pushed through. We did it and I still feel like it was still a very well-rounded workout. And I do feel like it's a perfect Shaka workout. So I feel like I get quite a few questions about kind of like beginner friendly workouts. And this is like a perfect workout to start with. Like don't feel like you need to be obviously hip thrusting with a huge freaking barbell if it's uncomfortable for you. Just do barbell hip, I mean, excuse me, hip thrust on a bench with a dumbbell you could totally do and then use dumbbells or whatever you want for those RDLs and then you got machine work for the end. Super seamless, not too bad, you know what I'm saying? All right, you guys, that's it for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very real, very authentic. Sometimes it just happens, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, you already know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm sending you so much love, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.